I just got home from Savannah late yesterday afternoon on a Sunday when I would normally do my shopping. So my motivation level was at a zero. Today, my mom flies home and it is pouring. So all of those things equal Walmart grocery pickup. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share my weekly grocery haul and a meal plan that I share every Monday here on the channel, and I am happy to report that I have another small grocery haul. I absolutely love it. This is like three weeks in a row. A Walmart grocery pickup really does help control my impulse buying, because if you ask any of my girls who actually go in the store to shop with me, they know that I have about zero control. Now, for you guys who love my long grocery haul, don't worry next week is my marathon week of shopping when I normally go to BJ's and Trader Joe's and have a larger grocery haul I usually do my big stock up in the middle of the month just the way that we get paid so today is just another small haul but it's always a good one so let me show you what I got at Walmart for $61.54 and this week's meal plan okay guys so this is it this is a quick overview of what I got for $61.54 with Walmart's grocery pickup. And the only reason why it was even that expensive is because we got our regular non-food items like diapers for Mason and Maya and melatonin and a large bag of cheese. So besides that, this is pretty much just fill-in items that I needed for a couple of recipes this week. For the most part, I shopped my pantry, my fridge, my freezers, and I was able to really pull together a pretty delicious meal plan from what I already had here in the house. So let me show you what I got today. So I picked up a bag of the Great Value Wide Egg Noodles. This was only like a dollar 12 so i thought that was a good deal uh, of course we got mason's melatonin and i think this is the last week i'm going to the last time i'm gonna try this and if we still can't get mason's sleeping issues under control this was working for so long and so well and lately even under the melatonin he's still really struggling to go to sleep so if this doesn't balance out this time around i think i'm going to call the doctor because this kid literally could be up all night it's absolutely craziness uh, i did get a jar of the organic marinara pasta sauce i actually use this for pizza sauce and it works out perfect and we are doing pizza this week I picked up some extra Parmesan cheese just to get me to either Trader Joe's or BJ's because we are uh, using a recipe that requires Parmesan cheese. Uh, I picked up a thing of beef broth for a beef soup I'm making this week. Two gallons of milk. This is that really large bag of mozzarella cheese, but it's $11 for five pounds. I feel like this is a great deal. We really do like the shredded cheese. It's not as good as the cheese from BJ's, but definitely a better value. So this will last us a good month, if not more. And, you know, we are doing pizza and stuff, so those things do take a chunk of the cheese, but this will still last us at least a month. Uh, I did get a thing of pure vanilla extract. I am almost out of vanilla, and it's definitely baking season, so I noticed in doing some meal prep this week that some baking items I was running low on, and that is actually what a portion of my grocery budget was, was some of the items that I needed that I realized I was low on. Uh, I got three of the vine ripe tomatoes, a small pack of sliced almonds for a recipe. Uh, Cornstarch was another thing that I ran out of this week for, while I was cooking, so I picked up another one of those. Uh, two things of pizza dough for pizza this week. Here is Maya's diapers and Mason's good nights. My mom finished up my sugar that I had on hand for her coffee while she was here, so I picked up another bag of plain, great value, pure cane granulated sugar, and this is a four pound bag. This was like super cheap, like $1.80 for a four pound bag, so I thought that was great. Uh, this is the first time I've ever tried this brand. This is Arrowhead Mills Organic All Purpose unbleached flour so I needed flour like I said a lot of baking going on in the next couple of weeks so I grabbed that to have on hand a thing of organic strawberries a thing of organic dill and a bag of gala apples and that you guys was it for this week's Walmart grocery pickup and now let's get into the meal plan Okay guys, so here is the meal plan from November the 5th, Monday through Sunday the 11th. 
So I got home like mid afternoon yesterday from Savannah and I am still like recouping. I am exhausted. I barely slept much um, in the couple of days going there. And then we were up late and the ghost tour and chit chatting, all that stuff plus travel. So I am excited that we just have a bump meal for today so we did not get a chance to do those bacon wrapped filet mignon steaks with the red skin mashed potatoes and the carrots i think i'm going to do a bechamel sauce because my mom likes that she's the one who taught me how to make that like white sauce on the carrots and that's pretty simple it's not overwhelmingly complicated meal so i'll be able to feed my mom with something yummy because she flies home this evening uh tomorrow we're going to do a meatloaf with green beans and just a box of annie's macaroni and cheese and i have a lot of chores to do tomorrow my mom's been kind of keeping up on my house for me which has been super helpful while she's been here the past week but i have a power hour that i have to film it's a collab video with Gina Schweppe, so I have to get that out tomorrow evening. So I have a bunch of stuff that I want to take care of tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I do have a little cupcake here because it is Vanessa Lemonade Mom, her daughter's twins. It's their birthday that day, so happy birthday to Rose and Pearl. And this is actually an exciting day. Daryl has another block of time where he's taking off two days in a row, and I love that. We get so much stuff accomplished when he is off two days back to back like that. We usually can spend like Wednesday getting a lot of stuff done and then Thursday more of a family day. So on Wednesday, I'm going to do this caramel chicken in the, uh, I thought it was a crock pot meal, but it's actually not. But caramel chicken just sounds very fall. So I actually think I'm going to film this and include this in my meal prep video. I'm in the middle of filming my uh, part two of my fall meal prep. So I think I'm going to include that in that video And then I'm going to do the Parmesan orzo, which I do have a cooking video for that So I'll link it above and down below, but this is like seriously one of my favorite side dishes uh, And then on Thursday, especially since that's going to be the day that we probably just have more downtime as a family I want to take it easy that day and we're just going to do soup and sandwiches. So this particular week, and I think every week, at least for the rest of the year, I'm going to use our cookbook as part of a guide in making my meal plan. Um, why? Well, because I only got to eat in Alabama what the girls cooked for me that we all cooked together. Otherwise, I don't get to eat with these girls or eat what they make. So I'm excited to use the cookbook and actually make their recipes. I mean, I made a cookbook with these girls and I haven't even got a chance to share and eat all those things that they put in the, in their sections of the book. So I am actually doing Vanessa's chicken salad. Now that is one of the things that I have had already that is on our beach menu in the cookbook, but I did figure that that would go well with the soup and sandwiches. Her chicken salad is dynamite. Now, when I first started my channel, I made a chicken salad video. I'll link mine as well, but I swore my chicken salad was amazing. And I even commented to Vanessa and said like, oh my gosh, you ruined chicken salad and you put grapes in there. Like, I don't do mine like that. And then when I had it on the beach trip, I swear I may never make chicken salad again without it. It was just the dill and the flavors that she put in her chicken salad. I would just, she sold me. So uh, I'm excited to make that. I was going to make uh, Nicole's Runaway Bride Bars, but it requires cream cheese. And there's a really good cream cheese deal with a coupon at BJ's next week. So Nicole's Runaway Bride Bars will be on my meal plan for next week. But this week, uh, I'm going to stick with just Vanessa's chicken salad. So I'm looking forward to that. Friday is just make your own pizza with salad. On Saturday, we're gonna, I'm going to do Madison Pippin's pork chops. I mentioned when I bought that big bulk that I was going to split it in twos. And I did Leanne's pork chops one time. And then this time I'm doing Madison's. And it's very simple. I had all the ingredients right here in my house. So we're going to do that with noodles and cream corn. So it sounds delicious. And then I have a bunch of salsa in my refrigerator that I want to to use up so I'm gonna dump that in the crock pot with some taco seasoning and some cheese 
and some chicken and just let it slow cook for a while and make like salsa chicken tacos. I feel like that's really easy on a Sunday, especially since that's my long day with religion for Jake and shopping and all that good stuff. So that is it for this week's meal plan, you guys. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're interested in the cookbook, it is on Amazon. And I did actually notice when checking yesterday, this book is on sale on Amazon. Now they're allowed to run sales when they want to. And right now they're doing a 23% off all their paperback books on Amazon. So you actually can score this book, the actual paperback on Prime. So ship to your house in two days and the digital copy for just $15.46 right now. So I will have that linked down below as well as any other promo codes that I have or recipes. And that is it for this week's meal plan. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.